Hello everyone, I'm John. This is my Honda and I'm going to be camping in it in the snow. We uh, do have a propane fire pit. What's that? Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, I can see it. That's actually a good spot here. Cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because you know what? Winter camping doesn't have to be miserable, right? The trail to come get her rather than let like have her try <laughs> try it herself. So yeah, yeah, I was careful Just, about. Uh, that. Hope you guys have fun out there. I really don't want to go snow camping, but I just between work and a bunch of family stuff right now, it's been freaking busy. Yeah. So, um, but hopefully we'll get to meet up soon. I just you guys have fun out there. Um,
Survived last night. Let's go see how it looks out here. Morning, Carla. Morning, Nick. Good morning. Hey, look at these animal tracks. <laughs> yeah. They're all under my car. Yeah. All right, let's see. How deep is it? Ooh. If you go up there, it's like up to here for me. Oh, that's deeper over there, huh? Yeah, because I went up there, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. That's a sight to behold. Thank you for watching. The vast majority of the population won't be open to snow camping. I totally get it. But this doesn't have to be miserable. There's certain things you could do to make snow camping very enjoyable. This activity is inherently dangerous, so make sure you go in prepared. Go with friends and go in with the right gear. Have a backup for the backup. We are now gearing up to drive out of here. It's gonna be a nine mile drive through fresh powder. And this is where the story gets interesting. While fresh powder is easy to drive through like a hot knife through butter, high winds can take that fresh powder, compact it together and make the snow more dense and deeper. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I have a new video released, which is about once a week. You'll get a notification with my video title and thumbnail, and then you can make a decision if you want to watch it or not. But this upcoming episode, I think, is going to really benefit you, especially if you're thinking about getting out and doing some snow overlanding or snow overlanding. Just about all of us got stuck or had some kind of traction issue. It's not a good situation just turned to ice so at this point i'm about to slide into a ditch so we're trying to do everything we could so that doesn't happen we're chaining up this side because we really can't get to the other side but we also built a little berm to kind of keep us in track so hopefully this works i mean i think it's the best shot that we have 
and uh, we're pretty much going all out. So again, thank you for watching this episode and definitely tune in to next episode. Until next time, I hope you have fun on your adventures. It's a bit of a snow apocalypse right now. This is awesome. I love this. I know. Some of you just can't imagine having any kind of fun in this weather. Here to jump! My foot's hurting, I'm gonna... Go down.